So red light has a really long wavelength. Purple light, not so much. Where do you buy sparkly red flippers? You don't. You make them. And your neighbors think you're a little odd. So representing red light will be Brady again. Flipper one, flipper two. Representing purple light will be Hannah. Okay, now here's how this is going to work. You get a kid with red flippers on, which, hold your foot up here, use my shoulder, I'll support you. Yeah, right. Okay, with red flippers on, which is funny enough in its own. Can you think of anything that isn't funnier with flippers? <laughs> I cannot, okay? So we're going to have Brady here represent red light, and over on this other side, they're not going to fit on the stage, and I would like Brady to go come home from this trip, okay? On the other side, we're going to put Hannah. Hannah, put your foot in the air so everybody can see your sparkly small foot. Brady, your turn. Okay. Purple light, little wavelength. Red light, big wavelength. Do both colors of light travel at the same speed? Yes. We need music. <laughs> oh, oh, exciting the light. Are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> okay, here we go. Notice, we are both moving across the room at the same pace. However, Hannah's feet, reflection, Hannah's feet are touching the ground way more frequently. Brady's frequency is much less. They are yet moving at the same speed. Reflection. I was just sure I was gonna, Brady was gonna go down. Hey, more frequently. Okay, excellent. Okay, reflection. Ken is the most spastic kid I have right now. Not after this demo. Oh, that's excellent. Oh, that's excellent. All right, now, step up here. Are you tired? I'm good. <laughs> Which color of light has more energy? Purple. Kids would never forget. There it is. Purple ballet shoes.